This episode of the Beauté by Avic podcast is brought to you by Australian Colour Technologies. Hello and welcome to the Beauté by Avic podcast, your online support community for the aesthetic and beauty industry. Here we are strengthening and unifying the industry through representation, innovation and education. This is a platform created and dedicated to the aesthetic and beauty industry, valuing unity and advancement. We serve to represent, support and inspire you by connecting you with industry experts, expanding your knowledge through educational pieces and bringing you the latest industry news. This is Beauté by Avi. I'm your host, Stephanie Miller, and today's guest is Catherine Dumeric from Australian Colour Technologies. Catherine is a highly experienced skin therapist who has been working in the beauty industry for over 10 years. She joined the field with the aim of assisting individuals with their skin concerns, in particular acne, which she personally struggled with due to hormonal breakouts throughout her life. A mum of one, with another on the way, and a family of her own, she became increasingly interested in living a life that is as free from harmful chemicals and additives from the ingredients in her food to the cleaning products she uses in her home, and of course, her skincare. However, skincare that still prioritizes quality and effective results for her skin. Catherine is committed to education and advancing her professional skills She has pursued further studies in health science, nutrition, business, and taken various short courses in disciplines such as skin anatomy, digital design, and cosmetic chemistry. Additionally, she has received product training for over 10 different skincare lines, gaining extensive knowledge on ingredients and how they can help improve the skin. She is a qualified trainer and assessor who works for an RTO in the beauty education field alongside her role for Australian Colour Technologies. As the trainer for BDR Medical Beauty Branch since 2018, she creates all training materials for BDR Medical Beauty in Australia and New Zealand. Catherine has a deep passion for all things skin, skincare, health and wellness, as well as an ongoing desire to learn and grow and uses that knowledge to educate others. Here to discuss the concept of clean beauty skincare from Australian Colour Technologies. Today, we welcome Catherine Dumeric. Welcome to the podcast, Catherine. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Thanks for having me. Oh, you're so welcome. We are so excited to have you on the podcast today because we are talking all things skincare, my favourite topic, and I'm sure all of our listeners are ready to delve into our wonderful array of topics that we've got to talk about today because we're talking about clean skincare and clean beauty. So before we start our podcast, we always start in the same way. We ask our guests, how did you, Catherine, enter the professional beauty industry? Well, I always wanted to do something around health or wellness or something skin related. And I sort of struggled with my own skin my whole life, all the way through high school and hormones and all of those lovely things. Um, And I initially wanted to go into beauty school straight after I finished high school, but everyone sort of tried to talk me out of it told me I should go to uni, I should do this, I should do that. Um, So I did all of the things that I was told I was supposed to do and I was studying business at, at the time it was the University of Ballarat, now it's called Federation Uni, Um, but I was very unhappy there. And I actually saw a friend of mine post a photo of her all done up in this like fancy barn and she had her lipstick on, she had this really beautiful uniform on and I saw Ali Lucas written across it and I was like, what's Ali Lucas? And I, I looked it up. And it was this beauty school and I was like, oh my gosh, that looks like an amazing place to go. And I went, you know what, I'm so unhappy 
um, I'm going to apply and see how it goes and what the drill is and go in. And I went in and um, the interview went really well and I loved it. And then the rest was sort of history from there. I um, was in the beauty industry and have been ever since. That is a very cool story. (laughs) And of course, Ellie Lucas is one of our foundation members. So that's so exciting to hear that you studied with them. It was a, um, a great school. I'm actually working there now too, a couple of days a week. So <laughs> How wonderful. That is such a wonderful, great story. I love it when we have two of our wonderful foundation and supply members connecting again in that way. It is such a small industry in our uh, country. Of course, mm-hmm. globally, it's, our industry is uh, one of the fastest growing. But really, every time I do speak to someone, there's always some kind of connection to ABIC or some kind of connection to one of our foundational supplier members, of course. Now, we're here today to talk about something very exciting and something that's always on people's lips, and that's skincare. I now yeah. industry is a seminal part of what we do. It is such an important foundational aspect of all of our businesses and all of our you know, treatment protocols and things like that. And you've got something interesting to talk to us about today, and that's clean beauty. So talk to us about what is clean beauty um, and sometimes why is it looked upon as perhaps not being as clinical? Yeah, so I guess the thing with clean beauty is it's not really regulated. So it can be hard to determine exactly what clean beauty is. It's a little bit foggy, I guess. Um, And there's obviously the comparison between natural versus clean versus organic, etc. Um, And there's a lot of crossover, I guess, between them Um, and people get confused. And especially as a consumer, when there's so much information coming at you all the time, it's really hard to sort of determine exactly what's what and know what you're actually putting onto your face or what you're using in your home or on your family. Um, So with, you know, for example, natural, natural generally means it's all natural ingredients. So, you know, it might be, you know, your coconut oils or your beeswax or rose water. Um, Those types of products may hydrate the skin superficially or reduce a little bit of inflammation, um, but they're not as likely to sort of make those long-term changes to the skin and they haven't necessarily been formulated in a lab where they're going to have that real active ingredient delivery into the skin. And I think that that sort of is probably one of the biggest places where people do get confused when they're looking at natural versus clean products. Yeah. So with your clean beauty, I guess it's more about looking for cleaner options. Um, So as I mentioned, there's a lot of information out there now. And I would say that consumers are savvier than ever when it comes to skincare and ingredients and products and you know, people are wanting those cleaner options. Um, so they're looking for, you know, more natural cleaning products or toothpaste, deodorants, all of those sorts of things. Um, and there's just so much information available to them. So it's really important that we can offer that to them, but still offer them those same great results that they're looking for with their skincare. So clean doesn't mean compromising on results. And clean can also be clinical. Um, and that's one thing... Yeah, I think that's one of the things that our customers sometimes do get stuck on or a little bit confused about, but it definitely can be both, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's more of an umbrella term, I guess. So more focused on, you know, sustainable sourcing or non-toxic ingredients that might be more plant-based and cruelty-free. They may be organic or, um, you know, they may be one or two of these things or all of them. It's kind of a whole range of different things, but doesn't mean that you can't offer them that still same quality results from that active ingredient delivery and being formulated in a lab to get real world results. And clean really isn't a technical term. It's something that of an ideology, it's something of a, um, you know, proposal where my company believes that this is what clean is because obviously clean can mean so many things to different people. What is the ideology of your skincare? So we are focused on definitely being cruelty free, um, being free from micro plastics um, and obviously trying to avoid toxic ingredients wherever possible, but still offering those same results. So um, we're really focused on getting plant-based ingredients that still offer the same, you know, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants that people are needing in their skincare to get those results. That's awesome. That's really good to understand 
Because as I said, there's so many different ideologies out there and I love how yours is crystal clear. It's short and sweet and sharp and we understand exactly what your philosophy is. And, you know, the most important thing I think I love when you were talking about the types of ingredients. Tell us a little bit about the types of ingredients that you avoid under your clean skincare umbrella. Yeah, so the things that you want to sort of be looking for, I guess, and again, as you mentioned, it is different from company to company, what they class as clean, what might not be the same as it is for us. Um, But we're obviously looking at any sort of toxic ingredients, um, chemicals or animal products, um, those microplastics, anything that's going to cause disruption to our hormones, um, artificial fragrances, um, unnecessary preservatives, Um, parabens, mineral oils, synthetic colors, those sorts of things. So they're all the kinds of things that we want to avoid. And then um, when it comes to like the cosmetic tattoo side of things, because obviously we have both skincare and cosmetic tattoo at Australian Color Technologies, there are certain ingredients that are, you know, not classed as MRI safe because they actually have iron oxides in them so we our pigments are completely free of those iron oxides and against animal testing um so they're completely safe and you know that long term you're going to always have something inside of you that is completely safe that is so very important to know especially in the tattooing world i think that that's where a lot of clients do have concerns and they do come unstuck when they don't do their research in what type of tattoo is um it, you know ink and pigment is being used mm-hmm. it's it's so, it's so important what kind of research do you do in your company to make sure that uh you're all compliant do you have specific people doing that research for you yeah, so REACH um, compliance is the compliance that's necessary over in Germany and everything is double and triple t- tested and checked to make sure that it makes those standards um, across all of the products every single time. Um, so everything is tested multiple times and from external people and internally within the company as well um, so that you know that every time you're getting that high quality product with both the cosmetic tattoo pigments and also with the skincare as well. And tell us a little bit about reach compliance specifically. Why is that so important? Because do we have anything like that in Australia as well? I guess it's quite different. With reach compliance, it is a very strict sort of regulation. Um, So reach stands for the regulation and registration, evaluation and authorization of, uh, uh, sorry, and restriction of chemicals. Um, So it's the main sort of law to protect human health and environment from risks that are posed by chemicals. So they're very strict on, you know, phasing out and restricting substances that are of high concern to human health and to the environment as well. They also help to regulate information on like animal testing so that companies do have to provide that information if they are doing animal testing. And they're obviously trying to stop that as much as possible because there are other ways to sort of do those tests without having to um, subject yeah. animals to cruelty um, and also just making sure that brands are being very transparent in regards to their compliance to all of those standards so not just one or two of them they have to be transparent about every single part of it so that the consumer knows exactly what they're getting every single time did you know that australian color technologies supplies not only the very best pigments supplies and disposables and German engineered technology for cosmetic tattooing, but has branched out into skincare and skincare treatments and is now the sole distributor for both GoldenEye Micropigmentation and BDR Medical Beauty in Australia and New Zealand. They also create their own products, offer express shipping on all orders and have all orders packed and shipped within 24 hours while offering extra information and training for all their stockers. To find out more, visit www.australiancolortechnologies.com or www.bdrmedicalbeauty.com.au and use the discount code ABIC20 to get 20% off your first order.
so I'd say it's probably one of the strictest out there and it's definitely great that we have that reach compliance certificate um, because it means that we are, you know, ticking all those boxes and making sure that our products are nice and safe. That's so wonderful to hear. And yes, I do hear that, that it is one of the strictest uh, standards in the world. So it's um, you're definitely uh, reaching quite high there to, uh, <laughs> to uh, <laughs> no pun intended, to keep your product <laughs> extremely clean and, and very compliant. And it's so important. You're right. We don't absolutely do not have to test on animals these days. It is not yeah. something that is is necessary to ensure safety for for our clients and patients' skin. Um, yet it is so sad that many countries are still doing that. Um, yeah, I'm hoping exactly. that the trend is changing in the world at the moment. Do you feel that there will be a shift internationally? I do. I think so. Like as I said, there's just so much information out there now, um, and especially with social media and all of that. Like people are just so aware of everything. Um, not to say that all of it's true, because obviously there's a lot of misinformation out there yeah. as well. Um, but I think that it's really important that people are aware of these things because for a long time we weren't. And if we're not aware of them, obviously we don't know to change anything. Whereas now that we are aware, we can make those changes and obviously create a better industry and better products and um, be more health and environmentally conscious. I think that's so important. And that's what cruelty-free skincare aims to achieve. Tell us what, what actually is cruelty-free skincare? What's involved in that? Because... I get so many questions, you know, what is cruelty-free? Everything's really been tested on animals, um, you know, historically. What does cruelty-free skincare really mean? Why is that so important for for our consumers and, and for us as companies? Yeah, so I would say, obviously, there, like you said, there is a lot of things out there that have always been tested on animals because that was what people did. Um I would say that cruelty free means that there are no animal products or byproducts in um, the products or the ingredients that you're using. Um, obviously, they're not tested on animals, which is really mm. important because um, that obviously is a whole different area again. It's not just about taking a product from an animal, but then we're actually torturing them, we're making them go through this testing phase before we have to. And obviously, they also have very different skin and very different health than what we do. So a lot of the time, what the effects that it has on them is quite severe and quite awful. I don't know if you've ever watched anything on it, but it it is. It's very awful to see the things that happen to these animals. Um, and I guess, horrifying. yeah, and um, I know a lot of people do have a fear out there that, you know, maybe the products won't be as effective. Maybe they'll be more expensive because they're classed as vegan. Um, they might not last as long because they don't have certain um, preservatives or whatever it might be in there. Uh, but the truth is plant-derived ingredients can contain more vitamins, minerals and antioxidants than any of those animal products can if you're choosing the right ingredients. Um, you know, plant-based EFAs and oils are, can actually be a much better source of oils for our skin and our body than those animal products can be in the first place so why would you choose one when you can choose something that's better and better for the environment better for the animals oh that's well said um beautifully put Catherine I think that that's really the heart and the crux of what we're we're understanding right now is that you don't need to sacrifice results for that level of care and safety for our environment our planets and our also our animals uh, right now, te there's technology to derive so many wonderful actives out of our plants um, and especially, you know, native plants to, to each region and each um, country that they do come full of that, you know, local goodness, you know, the things that actually help um, the local environment as well. I'd love to find out what do you, what's your staple ingredients, those plant-derived ones that we all kind of get excited about yeah so um bdr actually has some very unique ingredient complexes that they use yes. um so you don't see a lot of just ingredients like singular ingredients in there most mm -hmm. ingredients are in an ingredient complex that have been formulated in a lab as i was saying so you've got all of the benefits of it being clean and being um, from plant-based but still offering those results so you get that active delivery that goes down into the skin 
Um, so we do have some very unique ones that I personally hadn't heard of until I had started working with BDR. Oh, and that's I was what like, I was fishing for. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, what are these? Like, I've never heard of these before. So, um, like, for example, in our eye cream, we have two um, really key ingredients. One's called Juvenile, um, which is an yeah. ingredient that's designed to sort of help reduce dark circles, um, increase, you know, the circulation around the eye area. Um, and then we've got one that's called Beautify. So this one's like really high in antioxidants. It's good for supporting and lifting the upper eyelid, helping to reduce crow's feet and dark circles and puffiness. And when I first saw these, I was like, what are these? Like I just had no idea what I was looking at. But when you actually look up those specific ingredients and you really go through and break them down, they are just those plant-based ingredients. So, you know, they have your vitamin C in there and they have your antioxidants in there, your vitamin E's, all of that. It's just that they've been recreated in a lab setting to make sure that they're still offering that same result while being a clean or plant-based product. So they're probably two of the most interesting ones I came along. There is also one um, that's in our Relax 3 serums, which is like the one that we say is like a Botox-like serum. So it helps to relax um, the muscle and helps to relax the skin. Um, that one has cinnac in it, which is a little bit more common. It has been seen a little bit more in skincare lately. Um, and that's actually derived from a pet, like it's a peptide that mimics snake venom. Um, and the snake venom obviously helps to relax the muscle. And I just found it fascinating that, you know, they can take something that is, you know, natural, as you would say, from a snake, but obviously we're not taking the snake's actual venom. They have just taken ingredients that are plant-based and then they have put them together into this complex to get the same action of what that snake venom does. So it just fascinates me, you know, that there are so many options out there and why would we want to go and, you know, take venom from a snake and put it into our bodies when we can recreate it from something a lot more natural, a lot cleaner, a lot safer and get the same sort of results. Oh, wonderful. And tell us a bit about your range as well. What um, what does it offer? You're obviously talking about the eye cream, um, but how extensive is your range? Yeah, so like uh, it's kind of one of those ranges where there's a lot in it, but compared to some ranges out there, it's actually quite small. Um, it's a really simple sort of range in that it's set out in your five steps. So you've got step one, which is your cleansing. Um, we have three different cleansers. You've got step two, which is your preparation, which is sort of your exfoliations, your acids, and any other sort of preparation of the skin for other active ingredients. Then we have step three, which is your hydration, which is our range is very much focused on hyaluronic acid. So that step is all about the hyaluronic acid. Um, then we have your step four, which is focus care, and that's things like your um, relax three or your targeted serums to target specific concerns your eye creams your masks etc and then we have step five which is protection and that's like your moisturizers um so it is quite simple in the way that the range works and we kind of have something for everyone in there um we use with our cleansers we've got as i mentioned we've got three different types so We've got Remove, which is sort of a general aloe vera-based cleanser, which is suitable for most skin types out there. We have Remove pH, which has your micronized silver in there, which is really great for inflammation. It's antifungal, antibacterial. And then we have got our new one that's just come out, which is called Deep Cleanse, and that's a foaming cleanse. So we've kind of got something for everyone, and it's the same across the whole range. You know, we have something for inflammation. We've got something for pigmentation. We can kind of target pretty much any skincare concern out there, um, but keeping it really simple for the individual. So they're not having to have, you know, 10, 15 products in their routine. Um, they're kind of getting one from each step, and then they're good to go. So I really like that about BDR and the way that it works, that it's not overcomplicated. Um, and the same with the professional treatments, like they're really designed to be user friendly. So everything's sort of step by step. It's really clear what's suitable for each person, but you can still offer that bespoke, relaxing, indulgent type facial while giving them really good results um, with as little downtime 
as possible. So um, we even have, you know, pain-free skin needling, which is very unique. Um, oh, wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> so we, um, it's probably one of our favourite things because I personally am not a huge fan of anything that hurts or disrupts my skin or leaves me with a lot of downtime or pain or anything like that. I'm just not about well, do it. Do tell. Do tell. Yeah. What is this pain-free option? <laughs> yeah. So um, we, have, it's, we have two different options within the pain-free skin needling, which is stimulation um, XL and stimulation professional. Um, so you're still working at like a 0.25 and a 0.5 depth within the skin. So you're getting that active ingredient delivery. Um, but the way that the head is actually designed, it's designed in a way that you're getting very little disruption to the skin. So you're creating those little tiny micro channels for that ingredient delivery, but you're not causing a lot of bleeding. There's no pain. It's actually quite a relaxing and enjoyable treatment to have. Um, so you literally walk out and your skin is glowing and you look amazing. There's no downtime whatsoever with it. So it's a really incredible treatment. Everyone loves it. Oh, sign me up. And, yeah. and so it, it works. The needles are actually designed in a bit of a different way. Is it the head of the needles that are, are shaped differently to yeah, provide the so, comfort? Yeah, so it's a sort of a different configuration. So um, essentially it's kind of like an oval sort of disc and the disc is sort of vibrating and obviously we choose the speed, et cetera, um, on, the, on the device or on the app. We have a couple of different device options. So some are run through an app and some are done directly on the machine itself. Um, and they're sort of in a line as opposed to being, you know, in that circular orientation. So as long as you're doing the right technique, um, you're not going to cause a lot of downtime or bleeding or anything like that. You just look amazing that afterwards. <laughs> that really does make sense. So in the circular yeah. configuration, it will still glide over the skin, but I can imagine the oval sort of shape is a little bit more streamlined, right? So you're yeah. getting less pull uh, while yeah, you're and doing we do offer both. Like we do offer both, so we do also have our more advanced skin needling, obviously, which is more suitable for when you are looking at that deeper scarring and mm -hmm. those sorts of concerns. Um, so we offer that as well, but this is more for your, you know, when you're looking for that anti-aging or, you know, slowing down that aging, you want your skin to be looking plump and glowing and getting that active ingredient delivery. And for the people who don't want downtime, because who has time these days? Nobody. Very excited about this uh, pain-free skin needling option. I think this is um, a, a wonderful option for those clients that do want the benefits of skin needling product infusion, but really are hesitant, reticent about the uh, any kind of downtime or any kind of you know overstimulation of their skin. I think this is a, a, a great key aspect to uh, differentiating your 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 brand and what you offer I know my yeah. clients will go crazy over that <laughs> option yes exactly because people just are so busy and people are obviously more scared of those sorts of things especially if they've got a lot of things on and they don't know how they're going to respond to them um and people just don't want to have to have downtime like, and why would you if you can avoid it if you can be looking young and amazing and glowy without the pain and without the downtime I say go for it <laughs> absolutely so, Catherine, your range sounds incredible. Australian Colour Technologies and BDR Medical have really gone to the nth degree to, to make sure that their skincare is clean and cruelty-free, great for the environment. You've got so many cool things within your skincare, like your pain-free skin needling, which is fascinating. Um, now, tell us, if we are interested in stocking your products and your brand, what kind of support and training do you offer your clinics? Yeah, absolutely. So with um, BDR specifically, um, we pretty much offer as much training as people need and as much support as they need. Um, we will go to them. Um, they can come to us. We kind of offer online. We've got resources, um, you know, manuals and different PowerPoints and all sorts of different training. And they can pretty much have as much as they want ongoing because we're really there to support them. We are a small company, but we've got a lot to give to our customers and our consumers because we just love and are so passionate about this brand and we really want to get the name out there. Um, so we are pretty much there with as much as you can ask for, really. I'm available all the time, you know, by email, by phone, for ongoing questions about specific clients and specific concerns. We pretty much offer it all, offer ourselves completely. Um, no, with the, that's wonderful. Yeah, with the Australian colour, 
technology side of things. So obviously Australian Colour Technologies is the main company and BDR is a branch of that. Um, and the Golden Eye Micropigmentation is also from the same company that makes BDR. So they're like one in the same essentially, but just again, different branches. So with that side of things, like, you know, we have ongoing resources. We're available via phone and email as well. So we always have people calling and asking questions about colour choices. And um, Georgie is all over that side of things. And Kelly, they can answer all those questions about the cosmetic tattooing side of things. I'm more about the skin side of things, but we're always available. Pretty much everything is available to our customers. There's no sort of questions that are off limits or any time that we're not available. It's so important to have very strong training um, within an organisation and just just to give the, the therapist the confidence to be able to deliver the information, but also the confidence to be able to service your patients and service the clients and suggest the right things for them. You touched quickly on golden eye micropigmentation device, which is what I kind of wanted to, to ask you about. It sounds incredible. It's um, obviously a state-of-the-art system and um, you do provide the most incredible pigments um, in the industry and I think that's something really to note, um, the quality there because, you know, that industry is somewhat regulated but it is not stringently regulated I think that's really important to 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 understand what you are using and what you uh, the you know the therapist is putting into your skin when it's being performed um tell us a little bit about golden eye micropigmentation yeah absolutely so um I guess the good thing with um the golden eye micropigmentation in the machines is a lot of the machines are actually used for both skincare and cosmetic tattooing some are just one or the other but they kind of go hand in hand so you're offering that same quality and that same safety of that delivery without creating too much trauma or downtime to the skin so it's all about being more effective um, rather than about just getting it in there as hard as possible I guess doing it in the safest way and offering these incredibly soft healed tattoos that you do see um, from anyone who works with golden eye um, they have some really incredible products to help to, you know, reduce the inflammation while you're doing the treatment so that that pigment's staying within the skin. And the devices are just amazing, like nothing I've ever worked with before working with them. Obviously, German engineered machines are always of the highest quality. And their products, as I mentioned earlier, are just tested over and over again to make sure that they're completely reach compliant. Um, they're free from all of those iron oxides. They're not tested on animals. Um, and Australian Colour Technologies is obviously very passionate about sourcing only the very best products um, and ingredients for their customers, which is why they work with GoldenEye and work with BDR. Um, and then they obviously do create some of their own products as well. So they have their Medicone Gel, which is a medical grade silicon, which is amazing for aftercare of cosmetic tattoo. Um, so we kind of have it all. We have something for everybody and everyone in the industry. And for the people who offer both you know we have those machines and those products that actually go across both ranges um, and can be suitable for your tattoo clients and for your skincare clients so it really is an incredible range and golden eye and bdr are just the best products to work with it's pretty cool that you're using that advanced tattoo technology to also deliver product into the skin i you know i think that's very revolutionary it's, it's definitely where um, you know, it differentiates you in the marketplace uh, because that technology is so sound and so excellent. You know, why wouldn't you use that same very similar and, and the same technology to deliver um, focused, um, you know, ingredients into the skin? It's been so fascinating talking to you about all of this, Catherine. Sounds like you are so passionate about what you do and, you know, BDR and Australian Skin Technologies is really at the cutting edge of clean science and also pigments and um, and, and ta all things tattoo. I think it's very important that when you're doing your research to, to bring something like that into your clinic or if you're a client that you do your research and do it well because obviously something like tattooing is either permanent or semi-permanent and it stays in your skin and in your body. It's yeah. very important that we at least have the transparency, therefore we can make the choice that is good for us. Um, because there's so much there's so much to choose from out there. So <laughs> thank you so much for the good work you're doing. Thank you so much for being supplier members of AVIC. It's so wonderful. And you of course yourself are a professional member individually as well of AVIC. Thank you so much for your support, Catherine. 
Oh, thank you. I love what you guys do as well. So it's great to have something like this for our industry. It's just amazing. Thank you for coming on the podcast today. Thank you. You've reached the end of another episode of the Beauté by Abic podcast, your online support community for the aesthetic and beauty industry. Thank you for listening. And until next time, stay connected.